and Merry Almost Christmas. I'm here today and I was just thinking about holiday Matsuri and it made me think I really like to rank all the conventions I've been to and spoiler, holiday Matsuri is actually coming in first place. Um, and I just want to tell you a little review about like what my experiences were at each con, what I think like the pros and cons of each con was. And hopefully maybe that will help you choose which events you might want to invest money in and which ones you might have the most fun at. Alright, and so I brought this yellow whiteboard <laughs> here today in order to rank them for you. And like I said, the first one that comes to mind is Holiday Matsuri. And the reason that it's coming in first place is that it's kind of close to Christmas and so I think that Holiday Matsuri has a really fun atmosphere of a lot of people wearing Christmas themed cosplays and a lot of people are really excited about Christmas and so I think it's a really nice holiday atmosphere. And I also um, like that it's in Florida and in the winter for me to be in a warm location feels really nice. It's also near Disney so you could plan a Disney trip like right then and there. Um, I found the hotel accommodation to be very affordable, so I really like that. And um, I uh, so last year I had some airline points, so in order for my whole trip and like hotel and everything, I was able to do Holiday Matsuri for only two hundred dollars. And I live pretty far from Florida and Boston. Um, I also like that Holiday Matsuri has a pool. And that it has actually a lot of very photogenic locations, in my opinion. And so that's the reason that I put Hale Matsuri as number one. And then after that, um, the next con that comes to my mind as my favorite is Colossal Con. And I think what makes this con so great is that it's at a water park. And uh, I love water parks. And so if you're someone who really likes to be in a pool, you think that riding down slides sounds really fun. They have a lot of different rides that are water park rides. And they have an indoor pool and they have hot tubs and they have outdoor pool and it's in the summer, it's Costco's biggest pool party. I think there's a lot of pretty places you can take pictures and there's also an arcade and there's um, zip lining and there's rock climbing and there's a zoo. I mean, what more could you want? It's at a resort. And so all in all, I think Colossal Con is really great. <laughs> to mention what I can't get away without mentioning is that Colossal Con actually had some pretty serious controversies recently in which many people were upset by the founder of Colossal Con as well as a lot of the people involved in organizing the event made some racist and sexist comments, things like calling cosplayers thoughts and um, making racist comments about people and I will show those over here so that you can see them. There was a public outcry against this and everyone who was involved in that was removed from Colossal Con staff. And so in my eyes, I think 
they made appropriate measures in order to um, get rid of those toxic people. So next on my list, I'm going to mention PAX East. It's a video game convention, and um, there's a lot of different PAXs. There's PAX West, there's PAX South. I mean, I have only been to PAX East, so that's my only experience, but I am placing it third of all the cons I went to. And I really enjoy it because they have so many games that you can play. And as someone who likes games, I think it's just really fun to go around with your friends and try all the games. And it's just the area where you can, the expo hall, the gaming area, and they have merch and everything. It's just so enormous and there's so much to do. And so I really enjoyed that. And also I, um, oh. Oh. Uh, PAX East is actually, <laughs> and also PAX East is um, a great place to network actually. I didn't know this until after I went to last year's. A lot of my friends told me that if you are into the video gaming industry or anything like that, PAX East is an amazing place to go and network to get your resume out there. Um, or if you're a cosplayer and you want to get hired for gigs, stuff like that, that PAX East is a great place to go to do that. And the next one I'm going to mention might be your top choice if you want to take beautiful photos. It's Katsukon and it's a very beautiful location, which is why a lot of people love to go there who are really passionate about cosplay photography or who are really passionate about cosplay and um, you'll see that a lot of people bring really elaborate cosplays to this con. I think this is one of the ones you will see the most elaborate cosplays so if you like to appreciate cosplay you'll be like a kid in a candy shop. For a long time it was part of the uh, World Cosplay Circle. It's not anymore but it still has a uh, reputation and there's a lot of really famous cosplayers who go there. Like if you're a fan of maybe Jessica Negri or Yaya Han, Stella Chu, you might find them there. And you might be able to take a selfie or something. So I really recommend Cause to Come because I just think it's a place where you can get the most beautiful photos. And I also will say that a lot of people go to Katsukon. So if you have a lot of friends who are into cosplay, there's a high chance that you will find them there. If there's a fandom you like, like say you're dying to have a full nine person love life group, you could probably um, get a full group just by connecting with people on a Facebook group or even on like Kasukon's Facebook group because there's just so many cosplayers who go there. And so that's another reason I really love Kasukon is that I get to see so many other artists there. And I get to take so many photos with so many great photographers and cosplay with so many friends from different countries, different states that I never get to otherwise see. And so I think Katsukon is wonderful. And the next con on my list is in Canada, it's Yetacon. And this is um, kind of outside Toronto by two hours. I would say it's a little bit annoying to get to. You might want to uh, rent a car with some friends or um, something like that. Uh, that's what I did. And that's also what I did to go to Colossal Con because that is also another one. And um, actually, and uh, Holiday Month Story too. It's just a good idea in general to rent a car with a group of friends, coordinate times you're landing at airports in order to do that because a lot of times that will save you a lot of money and then you can take your car to Walmart and you can buy your food there so you don't have to spend much money on food. Anyways, that's an aside. Um, Yetacon is really fun because um, it has a lot of pools. I wouldn't say it's a water park con like Colossal Con. Um, there's not like huge rides or anything. There is one like ride thingy, but it's not in the water. It's like on the mountain. But I think that Yetacon has a lot of beautiful location. It kind of has this like beautiful like old style town atmosphere and there's a waterfall that's really pretty that people like to take photos at. I think it's by like some body of water and so there's beaches and stuff that are really pretty not too far from it. Um, and there's a lot of hot tubs and pools there so there is a lot of opportunities for those swimsuit cosplays and to just relax in the hot tub 
And so I just had such a fun time at Yerekan. It's a pretty chill con where a lot of people have a lot of fun. And so I enjoyed it so much that I ranked it this high on my ranking. <laughs> Montreal. For me in Boston, it's really not that far. It's actually closer to me than Katsukan. And I thought Otakuthan was really beautiful. Lake Katsukan, there were a lot of very beautiful locations to take photos at. Um, there's this area that has fountains and some statues. It's really pretty. And then the side of the walls have like different color windows. I'll insert some photos so you can see some examples. And so I think it's a really beautiful con. And everything is run like really smoothly and there's so many great concerts you can go to and cosplay contests and all sorts of things. I really think this con has everything. I loved it. I thought it was great. And after Otakuthan is Otakon. Really similar name, right? Um, Otakon is at a really beautiful place in DC. A lot of the hotels around it have really beautiful lobbies. It's in the summer. Um, and uh, I thought that the dealer's room, like Artist Alley dealer's room at Otakon was like the biggest one I've ever seen. It was amazing. And so there were so many beautiful places to take photos and the dealer's room was amazing. Um, other than that, it seemed like your typical con. So I'd say yes, I enjoyed it. And so I ranked it as seventh here. And then next I'd say Anime NYC. I actually really love Anime NYC. Um, I think that they brought really good guests and that they have an amazing concert. Um, it is in New York City, so I mean, if you want to take photos, there are a lot of beautiful places and there's a lot of amazing things to eat and things to see, but that's in New York and that's not like the con itself. Right by the con, I don't think there's that many nice places to take photos. And if you go to them, you probably have to go outside and it's going to be really cold at that time of the year. And inside the convention center, I think it's pretty ugly, so I don't think there are too many places you can take really nice photos. Uh, but I do think that the dealer's room artist alley is pretty good. It could be better organized. Um, I, I got lost there. They didn't have good signage. Um, but the guests were amazing. The concert was absolutely fantastic. They had good guests. Um, I really enjoyed it a lot. I just had such a fun experience there. I have listed Anime Boston. I have very similar feelings about Anime Boston. Uh, I do think that the con itself is run a little bit smooth, more smoothly. Like the panels are really nice. The guests and the concert are amazing. They bring in really good guests every year, like Miyavi, Puffy, Amiyumi, things like that. Uh, and so they surprise me every time with like the caliber of guests they bring for the concert. Um, but I'd say like in the con itself, there aren't too many places that are great to take photos. Although I'd say it's damn well better than Anime NYC in that regard. Um, there is a mall which has some nice spots too you could take photos. It's not amazing, but I think it's okay. It's also pretty cold in Boston at the time it rolls around, so that's unfortunate. But you know, you are in Boston and there's, um, there's a lot of food around you. And the nice thing about Anime NYC... Uh, Anime Boston is it's in a mall, so there's like a lot of food options right there, but it's also pretty close to Chinatown. Amazing food. And like, uh, so it's in Boston, and that's a great city, and you can do a lot there too, so I 
also think that the location is great from like if you're kind of looking at this as like a tourist as well. And so I, I really do like Anime Boston. I think it's unfortunate that it's not prettier, um, but I think it's a pretty solidly run con. So after Anime Boston, the last three cons I'm listing are all just like smaller local cons. I live in the like, like Boston-ish area and so a lot of these cons, I don't know if it's really fair to compare them to bigger cons that a lot of people travel to go to when they're smaller cons. And so naturally they just ended up lower on my list, but I don't know if it's really fair. Um, but the next one I'm going to mention is Cape, and it's run by Nerd Caliber, and it's a pretty new con. Uh, it's a cosplay and photography expo, and so it's really focused on cosplay and photography, and like, there's a lot of panels on like photography and how to do it and how to get better at it. And so I thought that that was really cool, and they also made the ticket prices very affordable. I think it was maybe around $30, and I thought the since it was focused around photography, the location was really nice. And I really enjoyed it. I think the Nerd Caliber did a great job um, on this con. But it was very small, which is why it is ranked so low, because it didn't have some of the other things that these other bigger cons have to offer, like large um, expo halls and guests. And who, Well, they do have guests, but they're not like bringing Come We Cosplay and like Jessica Negri over. After Cape is another anime convention, and uh, uh, they are a pretty small convention in New Hampshire. Uh, nothing really stands out. Everything is small. Whether it's like the guests or the um, the uh, um, venue, uh, the uh, the options for your panels, and like uh, everything is like 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 the, the Dealer's room, uh, it's nothing really stood out to me. Uh, I think the location might have changed, so I'm not sure if what I have to say about doing photo shoots there will still be accurate, because I really don't know. But the place it used to be was Manchester, and there were some pretty photogenic places around the con, and it was like the beginning of the fall, so it wasn't too cold, so you could still do pretty outdoor shoots, which was nice. I thought it was nice overall, but I like, guess the title is another anime convention. It's just another one and another location. I'm sorry, AAC. I love you. Please don't hate me. <laughs> okay, and at the bottom of my list is Kineticon. And Kineticon deserves to be at the bottom of any list. It's horrible. And, um, uh, so Kineticon is always really hot whenever it happens. It's so uncomfortable. And um, the way that they funnel people into the con, at least last year, was really frustrating because it's so hot outside, but if you're like at all in the wrong position of the building, they'll make you go to another place in the building just to go in. And when it's so hot outside and maybe you're carrying a lot of stuff, it's really, really frustrating. There are a lot of issues with it not being run very well. Like there are mistakes made in like the showcase, the idol showcase and in you know, the masquerade last year with like the wrong prizes being given to the wrong people and it being taken away from some people. And um, I think that there's probably some things that could be done to make it go more smoothly in the future. And I do know that I have a friend who's working to ensure that it will improve in the future. So all in all, Kineticon kind of left a bad taste in my mouth. Oh, and may I add that I don't think there are very photogenic places at the con itself maybe the hotel lobby, maybe, but it's not great, and it's so hot outside that it is really difficult to take nice photos outside, but there are nice places outside because it's Hartford. Alright, on that note, I hope this list, and here's the final list, helped you, but these are only the cons I've been to, but me being uh, someone who's very into cosplay, I've heard a lot about some other cons, and I wanted to mention some that I've heard a lot of great things about, um, just in case you might be interested in going to those ones. And the first one that comes to mind is BlizzCon, and I know there's a lot of controversy right now over Overwatch's poor choices in dealing with the Hong Kong scandal, but um, other than that, I have heard that BlizzCon is really a wonderful con where 
like Katsukon, a lot of people bring their cosplay A game, and I, I've just heard from a lot of people grave reviews about it being one of the best cons. Next on my list, if you like expensive Japanese guests, there is Anime Expo in California. And um, they always bring the most amazing guests. Like, they brought like all nine of the original Love Life Muse vocalists, and they all came and performed and sang and danced for everyone. Like, um, well, not everyone, but anyone who went to the concert. Things like that. They just bring the most amazing guests. And I do hear that it is like not the most photogenic location. So if you go to cons because you want to take photos, maybe it's not the best choice for you, but the guests is just amazing and uh, it's a dream con for me. And then some other ones I hear a lot about. I hear a lot about Dragon Con and Anime Weekend Atlanta. Both are in Atlanta. So I would think that those would be really great cons to go to. Thank you for listening to my top anime conventions and I hope that this helped you decide which ones are worth going to. And I hope you have a fantastic time being a huge nerd at these cons. Bye!